This is lesson 12.3, part one. Divide polynomials. We're gonna get away from graphing for a bit and go back to some cool algebra, which for a lot of people is quite a relief. <laughs> so first we're gonna divide a polynomial by a monomial. So remember a monomial is just um, something like x or 2x or 3x. And we're gonna start with something like that. So that's example one. We're gonna divide a polynomial by a monomial. So our polynomial is gonna be 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus 10x. And we're gonna divide it by 2x. Well, you've done stuff like this kind of before, and this is the same idea as things you've done even at, way back in 7, 6, and 8, 7, Saxon, 7, 6, and 8, 7. We can separate each of these into separate fractions. 4x cubed divided by 2x plus 8x squared divided by 2x plus 10x divided by 2x. And that's the first method. So I should just call this method one. So this is method one. And when we do that, 4x cubed divided by 2x, you end up with 2x squared, right? 4 divided by 2 is 2x cubed divided by x is x squared, right? You remember when we did the exponents, x to the third minus x to the one, right? x squared on top. 8 divided by 2 here is 4. x squared divided by x, right, gives you just x. And then 10x divided by 2x. 10 divided by 2 is 5. x divided by x is 1, so just 5. So that's what you get with the first method. I'm going to show you also the second method. Um, and this is just dividing uh, a polynomial by a monomial. We're going to do some more complex things after that. But let's look at method two. Method two is just plain using long division. So here's my long division. And I'm going to say 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus 10x. And I'm dividing all of that by 2x. All right, well, you think the same way here as with any other division. How many times does 2x go into 4x cubed? Or another way to say is, what times 2x is going to give me 4x cubed? Well, if I just go to the numbers, what times 2 gives me 4? Well, 2. What times x gives me x cubed? Well, x squared. That's my first. Let's look now at the second term. How many times does this go into 8x squared? Or what multiplied by 2x is going to give me 8x squared? Well, 4 times 2 is going to give me 8. And x times x is going to give me x squared, right? So 4x times 2x is going to give me 8x squared. So I've taken care of my second term. I'm now done with those two, and I'm just going to look at the third one. What times 2x gives me 10x? 5. And you'll notice that by using basically long division, right, I'm able to get the same answer that I did with my first method. Okay, so method 2 was long division. That's mostly what we're going to use in this chapter. Okay, so I want you to go down to guided practice number one and guided practice one is going to give you the division 6x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x. So 6x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x 
and I have to divide that by 3x. All right, pause the video. I want you to do this on your own, and when you come back, I will work that out for you. Okay, let's look at that. What times 3x gives me 6x cubed? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and x squared times x gives me x cubed. So that's my first one. Let's look at the second. What times 3x gives me 3x squared? Well, 1 times 3x gives me, 1 times 3 gives me 3, but x times x gives me x squared. So this is just going to be x, right? And if, if you're not sure, just go back. 2x cubed times 3x, that gives me, ooh, and this is good that I did that. Look at that. And did you guys catch that mistake? This should be x squared, right? Because 2 times 3 is 6, x squared times x is x cubed. So it's, it's very important to go back and say, does this make sense? So let's look at the second one. Does x times 3x equals 3x squared? Yes, it does. Let's look at the third one. Minus what times 3x is going to give me negative 12x? Well, 4 times 3 gives me 12. And actually, 4 times 3x, negative 4 times 3x gives me negative 12x. So my answer is just 2x squared plus x minus 4. I'm going to ask you to try one more just because I know this is new to you. And I want you to try guided practice number two before we move on because we're going to do a more complex version of this and I want you to nail this first. So 12y to the fourth minus 16y cubed plus 20y squared. All of that we're dividing by 4y. All right, pause the video and do that and I will do it uh, when you turn it back on. Okay, what times 4y gives us 12y to the fourth? Let's see, 3y to the third looks like it. Let's see, that gives you 12y to the fourth, yes. All right, I'm gonna ignore that now and look at how many times does 4y go into negative 16y cubed, or what times 4y is gonna give me that? I know that negative four is gonna give me the negative 16, and I know that y squared times y is gonna give me y cubed. So negative four y squared times four y does give me negative 16 y cubed. Moving on to the third term, what times four y gives me 20 y squared? Well, five times four is 20, and then y times y is y squared. So my answer is going to be 3y cubed minus 4y squared plus 5y. If you're struggling with that, make sure that in your homework you're checking and please reach out to me and let me know if I can help you. All right, moving on, that was all to support example one, which was dividing a polynomial by a monomial. We're now going to divide a polynomial by a binomial. And so this is going to be divide a polynomial by a binomial. And we're going to do that by long division. So we're going to divide x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by x minus 1. And we're going to do it as we just did with long division. x squared plus 2x minus 3 and x minus 1. And we're going to say essentially the same thing that we did before. Um, so first we're going to see what times x is going to give us x squared. And so we need just to look at that first term. So I'm going to circle that or just underline it so that we know that this is our first focus. 
we're going to say what times this is going to give us x squared because that's our starting point. And I can see that x, right, times x here is going to give us x squared. So I'm going to multiply all of this by x, x times x minus 1. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to write on the left what I'm doing. x times x minus 1 is going to be my first step. Okay? So when I do that, I say, okay, x times x is x squared. That's what I'm going to subtract, right? And then x times negative 1 is negative x. Okay? And when I subtract these, I remember when I subtract them, I change my sign, right? x squared minus x squared is 0. 2x minus negative x, right? So we're subtracting. So this becomes a positive. Minus minus becomes a positive. I get 3x. That's the one place it's very possible to make a mistake. So be very careful when you're subtracting a negative. It becomes a positive. When I get down here, right, I now have 3x, right? Um, and I'm going to bring down my next number. So I'm going to have what times x minus 1 is going to give me 3x, right? And so I'm going to say, oh, well, 3 times x is going to give me 3x, right? But here, I'm going to have 3 times x minus 1. I have to multiply to both of them, right? Just as I did here. So 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times negative 3 is minus 3. And I have this minus 3 still here. So when I subtract this, I get 3x minus 3x is 0. Negative 3 minus negative 3, and then there's plus 3, is 0. So my answer to that is x plus 3. When I divide x squared plus 2x minus 3 by x minus 1, I get x plus 3. And it's very easy to know if you've done it right, because if I go back and I say, okay, what's x minus 1? times x plus 3, I get x squared minus x plus 3x minus 3, or x squared plus 2x minus 3, and I can prove that I did it correctly. Okay, so that's another way you can catch your mistakes. Okay, I am going to pause there and then come back and we're going to practice a couple of those. So. I'm going to suggest right now that you're going to do guided practice 3 and 4, page 785. And I'm going to demonstrate those in uh, the next video.